up YouTube guys today I'm out here getting ready to sight in this crossbow and I figured I'd bring you along on the journey too just in case you've never sighted in a crossbow before you can even use kind of this method to sight in any kind of scope okay so uh, getting ready for the 2021 bow season I need to get this thing all dialed in that way we can get on those big bucks this year and put the hammer down okay so uh, I got my phone mount up here I'm gonna be doing a future video on that and how I mount my phone, but this is what we're gonna use for the 2021 deer season, guys. We're gonna film all of our hunts from the cam. That way, you know, if I have my bow ready, I can always be ready to film, okay? Uh, since I do all my filming on the phone, it kind of just makes sense. And the phone doesn't weigh that much, so it kind of just made sense to throw it up there, guys. So uh, come along with me, we're gonna get this bow sighted in. Uh, I'm going to be walking you guys through what I'm doing every step of the way, and we're going to get this thing dialed in, so stay tuned. Guys, if you like these videos, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you're not a member of the channel already. Turn on that notification bell, and let's get going with this video. All right, guys, so the first thing you need to do is locate you a good area to shoot. So I have a target about 20 yards away, and we're not going to take our first shot at 20 yards, okay? So... I just put this scope on because I had to move the scope rings forward and allow room to put this camera mount. So it kind of changed everything up. So I don't know where this thing is gonna be shooting at. It was dialed in last year, but I guarantee it's not this year. So we're gonna be moving up closer to the target. That way we can get about 10 yards away. That way we don't miss the target, lose some of these expensive arrows, okay? Uh, so we're gonna get about 10 feet away and then we're gonna take our first shot. Guys, another thing you want to keep in mind when uh, trying out a crossbow and stuff is to get an actual crossbow target that can withstand the amount of force that you're putting through it. A normal archery target probably isn't going to hold up. Okay, so keep that in mind when you're out there taking those first shots. They can definitely surprise you. All right, so I'm gonna move up close again, about 10 yards away, and then we're gonna take our first shot. Okay, so typically what you would wanna do is have like a bench or some kind of chair, something you can shoot off of. Guys, we're just gonna do it simple today. I'm just gonna stand up and do this. All right, so I held dead center. At this close of a range, you probably wanna be shooting probably about two inches low, okay? So when we move back, we'll kind of take that into consideration and we'll go ahead and dial it up just a little bit. And when you're sighting stuff in, you might go ahead and just take these caps off. That way you can mess with the adjustments here and then just put these back on when you're done. Most scopes are gonna look like this. Okay, so you see if I move it counterclockwise, we're gonna go up. Move it clockwise, we're gonna go down. All right, we're gonna take another shot at this 10 yard range. See where we're gonna sit at. All right, we are dead center right now. Look at that. I don't think you can get any closer than that. It is dead on the money, but I don't think it's gonna be dead on the money once we move back. So we're gonna take that into consideration once we do move back. Even though this is a crossbow target, guys, this sinks it in there a long ways. I can't imagine shooting like a Raven or something like that. That really puts them out there fast. Okay, we're gonna move back to a 20 now. Do a couple more test shots and see where we're at. All right guys, we actually have the phone mounted on the crossbow now. I think it's gonna be really, really nice when I'm trying to film hunts. 
So I can be in this position talking. I could have it down, move it up, whatever. And it's gonna be pretty nice. And I can just flip it around and get the viewing area as well. All right, so we're at about 20 yards now. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a shot. This is on the crossbow, by the way. Okay, we did shoot just a touch high. So, like I said, we were dead on at 10. We're gonna have to adjust it down just a little bit more. All right, guys, so that shot was pretty nice. We did adjust the scope to go down a little bit with the reticle. That way we'll be dead on at 20. Uh, I think it's gonna do pretty good. Uh, we are just sighting in right now with field points and what that is, just the normal tips. Actually, I'll show them to you. Okay, it's just the normal practice tips, okay? Um, I'm gonna do a review of the broadheads I'm gonna be using this year, and that is the Schwacker broadheads that you can pick up at Walmart. So once again, keeping it blue collar, they're pretty cheap, they're under 30 bucks for a pack of three. Going up to like the Rage, they're like 40 bucks for a pack of three. So a little bit of a gap in the price there. But once we sight those in, I'll actually, actually bring out the practice head for those and we'll get those sighted in because they are going to move just a little bit differently. And right, I'll zoom in just a little bit for you guys. All right, so I think we're about on right now. All right, I couldn't see the shot from back there. I actually thought I shot low and under the target but I didn't I actually had to push the arrow back out because it had went through the center here. <laughs> so, all right, I think it is dialed in at 20. I don't think you can get any better than that. It is dead spot on, guys. Once, I, once again, once we get to the actual broadheads, we'll have to tune those a little bit differently. I got a horse fly trying to attack me now. So we're backed up to 30 yards now. We're gonna take a shot and see where it hits. Dude, I think I pulled it actually. So at these further distances, I wouldn't be afraid to shoot more than one bolt, but at 20 yards, these crossbows are so accurate, you'll be busting knocks, I'm telling you. So that's why I've only shot one arrow at a time, just to make sure I'm not busting these knocks. But guys, overall, if you get within that circle, I'm not necessarily worried about where my groupings are. I kind of look at this as like a gun, not necessarily like a bow. Okay, if I'm shooting my compound bow, of course, I'm gonna shoot multiple groupings and try to see where I'm at on the paper. All right, we're gonna take another shot at 30 and see where we sit. I think I might have pulled that last one, but guys, I'm telling you, if you're gonna do this the right way, go ahead and get you something to shoot off of, such as like a bench or a chair, something that's gonna give you a little bit more stability. Because I'm just doing this offhand and it's doing pretty well, so we'll see. All right, looks like it is dead center, a little low. So past few shots, I've been holding just dead center with the reticle. I haven't been using the drop down reticle, but uh, we might have to move down there. We'll see. Uh, depending, usually I can get almost out to 40 yards before I have to drop down to that second line on the reticle. Um, I don't know. Yep, see, dead center, little low. So maybe between at about 30, 35 yards between there, we're gonna have to use that second drop down. All right, let's take our last 30 yard shot and see where we sit. I'm going to adjust the reticle up just a little bit. 
All right, and see if we're good right there. All right, that is perfect, guys. We'll go down there and see that. All right, guys, so I hope you learned something today. Maybe you've never sat it in a crossbow before. Hopefully this gave you a little bit of insight on how to do that, or maybe you just like to watch somebody do it. Uh, anyway, hope you like the channel. Since we've done the little merger over to doing some more outdoors related stuff, not just the fishing, still doing a lot of the fishing stuff off the dolphin, because guys, I love the dolphin just as much as you guys do. Maybe you've always wanted to get into bow hunting. You've never just jumped in and done it. Maybe this will give you the urge to do it. So maybe you learned something today on how to sight in your crossbow. And I didn't get it completely fine-tuned, guys, because we're going to be breaking out those broadheads. And I'm going to be having to sight those in as well. So it's kind of just more and more work uh, the more shots you do. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be saving that for when we tune the broadheads. And, guys, hopefully you like this stuff. Stay tuned for those next outdoor-related videos, a bunch of sun dolphin videos about to roll out. And, guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe if you haven't already, and keep it blue-collar.